everybody, Beaver Fox here. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm cutting off my daughter's legs. Uh, it's a long story. Uh, I've joined a special, a very special community on the internet, known on the, the deep web and the other hacker sites where all the cyber bullies hang out as uh, the fur fag community, but I prefer to call it the Indian Spirit Community. There you go. My goodness, her hair is really receding in these later years of her life. There we go. I'm sorry, Orange. Anyway, uh, the Indian Spirit Community, we call it that because we have many of the same values as the Native American Indians who respected and revered and worshipped that hurt on. I'm, I'm sorry. It has to be done. They respected and revered and worshipped the, uh, the wolves and all the others of God's blessed creatures. This is huge. This is kind of tough to, to cut through, I think. I didn't believe you had such a strong backbone, Orange, especially after all those times you gave in to other people and ignored me. Yeah, Orange has stopped talking to me lately. She doesn't really talk a lot, so we're going to reinvent her. She's going to be reborn, aren't you, Orange? You're going to be reborn and you're going to be the daughter that you were always meant to be. The Indian Spirit Way. This is not fun for me, by the way. I know you guys can see me looking like I'm enjoying myself sawing away, but this hurts me as much as it hurts Orange. You're going to be reborn, Orange. Your spirit, your mind, your body, they're all going to be new. They're going to be new and they're going to be... Oh God. I'm not sure if I made the right choice. This is orange right now. Worst. I feel sick and we're still waiting. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry, Orange. Isn't she beautiful? She's a wolf. A spirit wolf. In a beautiful way. I wish I was special. I'm so very special. You're so very special. I'm a queen. I'm a weirdo. What the hell? I don't belong here. We don't belong here, Orange. I don't care if that hurts. I'm going to control you. You have the perfect body now, Orange. Yeah, right, like you've ever noticed me around. You've got to start noticing me, Orange. 
wave to the people. Highbeastforum.com Storm is your new name, Orange Storm. Your name is Storm Tickle? Tickle Tickle? <laughs> tickle. Tickle Tickle Storm. Tickle Tickle Storm. Tickle. What do you suppose that is? It is obviously some form of mechanical contrivance, most likely constructed by the large, benevolent deities which inhabit the world outside, and placed here for reasons unknown. But for what purpose? Perhaps if we look closer, we can determine not only its exact origin, but the purpose for which it was intended? An excellent notion. But does it not seem hazardous to approach such a mysterious and unpredictable item such as this? As the famous quote so clearly points out, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But what exactly are we to gain by inspecting this contraption at close range? A better understanding of the world outside, perhaps even what plan the big ones have for us, what is our place in the universe, where are we going? This could be the key that opens a thousand locks, my unadventurous friend. Point taken, Wiggler. Then by all means, shall we ingress to a new realm of possibility? Indeed. Tickles, would you be so kind? Sure. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> what do you suppose is the purpose for such a treacherous object? It seems to be a device designed by our creators for the purpose of self-extermination. Perhaps so that we can progress more quickly to the afterlife, thus reaping the benefits of an honest existence within a more immediate time frame? Excellent theory, Snugsy, but why is the eternity bound individual supplied with a piece of cheese? If you'd remember your folklore, Wiggler, you'd recall a great tradition of zealots supplying gifts to the gods in order to gain access to the hereafter. Help me. Oh, I see. So the cheese is ours to take with us in the event that entrance to the world without end is solely dependent on admission? Exactly. Brilliant, really. Agreed. So, shall we follow suit and embark upon the ultimate journey? No, it looks like it hurts. Then what exactly do you propose? 
Let's poke tickles with sharp sticks. Excellent idea. Here in 